Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be trying a look using the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop palette. And this was the eye look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see how I completed this look, my thoughts on this palette after all this long time, then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today, right away, we're gonna do a quick eye look with my new Juvia's Place Coffee Shop. Yeah, the Coffee Shop palette. I picked this up during Labor Day and I got it for $11. I know when this palette originally came out, I said that I was not gonna get it unless I saw it on sale sometime. And I couldn't beat $11 because this is how the shades look. And if you know, you know I love these shades, but I have these shades in my collection. But to have them all in one palette is a dream. I need to do a quick eye look so that I can get out the door. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. And that's the shade we're going to put in the crease today. I have no idea where I'm going with this look at all, y'all. I just know that <laughs> I need to do a look. And these type of shades right here are my go-to for my crease. Unless I'm doing like a, I want like a, a colorful eye look then I'll probably put something different in my crease but for my normal everyday makeup looks this shade right here is my go-to for my crease and I hope it's close enough let me zoom y'all in some more then I just put that in my crease like that Wet and Wild Blending Brush. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't know what made me go on their site for Labor Day. I was like, dog, $11? I can't beat that. Let me just go ahead and order it. You know, because the original, original price is $35. I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead. And in Juvia's Place, eyeshadows normally never disappoint i wasn't a fan of those uh culture palettes i think it's called the culture palettes i wasn't a fan of those but like their original magic palette zulu palette all of those i love those eyeshadow palettes and i just put that directly in my crease as you can see can y'all see Mm -hmm. my camera never knows <laughs> where I'm moving to probably because I move too much and it's like sit still Nana sit still I think I'm going to do a glitter shade yeah I think I'm going to do a glitter shade but first let's take this one yeah this one put that in my crease out of reach and they got some cool and some warm shades, which I can appreciate. So it's a mixture. I'm a warm girl, but some days I try to be cool. Oh, this is a pretty brown. I know you like Nana. A brown is a brown. Can it be a difference? There's always a difference between a brown, guys. I promise. I promise. There's always a difference. And I'm just, this is a LA Colors Blush brush. So I'm showing you how quick, uh, just a quick nude eye look can take you, basically. We might as well say. So we got the transition, the out of V. And once you learn the shape of your eye and how you like your eyeshadows to fall, like this step will be nothing for you to do. You'll get it in no time. Okay, we're gonna take some glitter glue. Cause I'm gonna use a glitter shade. I've been obsessed with this glitter glue. I know y'all have seen it probably in the last 10 or 12 of my videos. I know, I've been obsessed with it. And I had it in my stash forever. 
and just recently like fell back in love with it. I look up so it can mark like where I want my eyeshadow to fall or lay or be placed. So that's why y'all always see me look up when I'm doing this step. I put it down here, right? And then I look up. One of my creases is higher than the other. So I had to kind of like make it myself. So they're both, so they both be the same. Which I just follow the fold. Lana, calm your crazy behind down. You're going to work. So I need my little fluffy brushes. I love my fluffy brushes. I don't like those hard brushes. I'm using my cleaner. And I'm going to take this one. This glitter shade. And that's what we're going to put on the lid. And just what I thought. <laughs> you ain't got to work hard at all for Julia's face eyeshadows. Now, I don't give them that. You don't have to work hard at all. Gone are the days where you have to spray your brush, use a white base, use a lighter base, pack it on with eyeshadows. Like You shouldn't have to do that no more in 2023 to make eyeshadows work i remember those days drop down and let me know if you remember those days of trying to make eyeshadow work gone are those days brown shade make sure everything you do this step so that you can make sure everything is blending together and you don't just have matte and it goes straight into a glitter shade you know you got like a line of demarcation. You don't want that. How we looking? Oh, all good things come to those who wait. <laughs> I just had to wait a little while to get the palette. And I can tell y'all right now, and based upon this, I'm going to be obsessed with it. So, you're going to see it a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know how many new looks I can do, but I'm going to try to do as many as I can. <laughs> because I love a good new look. And you might say, this isn't really new, but to me it is. Anything with golds and browns is new to me. Mm. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go wake my lazy child up. Okay, this was also on sale, and it's the Juvia's, the Nubian's Intense Pencil Liner, Kai Gile in black. Smudge proof, 12 hour long wear, intense color payoff. Let me put that on my lower lash line. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of this step, but if it doesn't smudge or look like raccoon ish, then I'll do it. It's okay, it doesn't scare me. Okay, and 
this I'm gonna take the same out of V shade and we're gonna put that on the lower lash line just a little bit of it on the lower lash line just smoke it out And a little bit. So it's not just like a line of blackness, you know what I mean? All right, get your get your transition brush and make sure everything is together forever. Nose. Thumbs up. All right, guys, we are back with the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop palette. I'm not mad that I got this. Like, this already is going to be a staple in my collection. I can tell you that right now. Only because I love golds, browns, soft browns, dark browns, light browns, medium browns. I love it all, and this palette has just that. Right, I think this is going to be perfect for the fall time. So this is the completed eye look. As you can see, it was something very simple, very natural. Anybody can do it. Drop down and let me know if you have this palette. And if so, what are your thoughts or what does it compare to? Like what other palette uh, compares to this one? That's what I want to know. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.